A quick review of tonight's top story. There is now a tenth victim of anthrax. A Washington postal worker is seriously ill with the most severe form of the disease caused by inhaling anthrax spores. He works at the mail facility that processed an anthrax-tainted letter sent to Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle. Finally tonight, the post-September 11th world has witnessed a seismic shift in global and neighborhood politics. Old relationships tested, new ones formed. The evolution of a familiar foe from ABC's Mark Litke in Shanghai. At a Shanghai flag factory, they can barely keep up with the orders from their U.S. customers. For some in China, the American tragedy has meant an economic windfall. In local video shops, there are already three instant histories on sale, one entitled Attack on America, using bootleg video from American networks, spiced up with apocalyptic scenes from Hollywood blockbusters, including Pearl Harbor and Godzilla. Though most Americans would find this the height of bad taste, the strongest parts of China's relationship with America are the commercial ties. Beyond trade, Chinese have long viewed the U.S. through a complex prism of pop culture and propaganda. Embrace American capitalism, distrust American political motives. With little information from their own media in the first hours after the terrorist attacks, some Chinese said it served America right. There's this image of the U.S. as being arrogant, and I think at first people thought, well, they deserve it. It was only two years ago that Chinese students laid siege to the American embassy here. Government orchestrated outrage over the U.S. bombing of the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia. Six months ago, Chinese anger over the spy plane incident, when the government would not allow any protests. Small wonder Chinese citizens were not sure how they should react to the terrorist attack. Then came word that President Jiang Zemin called the U.S. president with condolences, a signal that Chinese could now express their support for the U.S. Officials free to explain why China and America should stand together. China has its own Muslim insurgency in western Xinjiang province where militants have been armed and trained by bin Laden. We face the same or common terrorist threat from the same place. Ordinary Chinese citizens now free to express their humanity from candlelight vigils to a wall of bouquets outside the U.S. Embassy. People say their views have been changed by what they call these inhuman acts. In fact, those videos that seem so crass to Americans have amazed the Chinese since they include the history of terrorist acts over the past century. Most here have never seen or heard of these events. And at that flag factory, it's not only about making money anymore. With all the media attention they've received, the workers here have learned just how much their product means to Americans. Reason for a little extra pride in their work. Mark Litke, ABC News. Shanghai.